Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we'll get started with what is HTML5. So all the previous modules we have seen how to create simple website, HTML controls, and now we will see what is HTML5. Now let's get started. If you see here, this is a person who invented HTML. So the name of the person is Tim Berners-Lee. So you can see here, Tim Berners-Lee is the one who invented HTML in 1991. Now from there, 1994, HTML2 came. 1997, we got HTML4. And what is this versions means? In every version of HTML, they'll be adding some new tags or new attributes and all the browsers will implement those new tags. So that's about HTML versions. Now in 2009, W3C is the one which provides all these standards. Tim Bannersley is the one who is actually heading this W3C. W3C stands for World Wide Web Consortium. W, it's not W3 schools guys, it is W3C, World Wide Web Consortium which will actually provide the standards for HTML5 or HTML and all the browsers will implement the new tags and new attributes that are proposed by W3C. And who is heading W3C? Tim Berners-Lee who invented HTML is actually taking care of this W3C.org. Now, now W3C provides the HTML standards and if you see here and all these browsers, so this all of you know, it, this is a Chrome browser. This is the latest Microsoft Edge browser. This is Microsoft Internet Explorer, most popular one, which is uh, now they upgraded, Microsoft upgraded to Edge browser. And this, some of you might be knowing it, this is Safari browser. And this is Firefox browser. We also have some other browsers like Opera browser. Now, now, W3C provides the standards and these browsers will implement the standards. Now let's talk about some of the new tags that are introduced in HTML5. Now I have some samples here. You can see here I have some uh, examples. Now let's see some new features that are added in HTML5. Let's see this. Let me open this. Open with Google Chrome. Now the first one if you see birth date now i want to have a date time picker now when i click on this i'll get a date picker so i can select here whatever date um, uh, let's say i want to select july 24th so i can select like this now this feature is not there in html4 so html5 w3c said that okay all the browsers please have input type equal to date now let's see the code how it looks like right click on this open with google chrome now visual studio code now, if you see here, it's taking time. Yeah, see here, I just added input type equal to date. So we already learned input type equal to text, input type equal to radio. So those are all present in HTML4 and before versions. But this input type equal to date, this type equal to date is added in HTML5 and all the browsers have implemented it. Now, if I open the same thing in, in other browser, let's see here, I'd open this with, um, with Internet Explorer, let's see what happens. Now I'm opening this with Internet Explorer. Now if I see here, it's not supporting. See here, it's, it's looking like a text box, it's not looking like a date picker. So that means Internet Explorer has not implemented this input type equal to date. Now let's see if it works in Edge browser. Right click on this, open with Microsoft Edge browser, the latest one I have, and let's see whether it works or not. So W3C has provided the standards and all the browsers, has, some of the browsers might be still working on it. And let's see whether this Edge browser supports or not. So now, yeah, it's just taking time. Yeah, now see here. Now you can see here, this browser, I have this daytime, this is the latest Edge browser. When I click on this, I can see here, this is showing the daytime selection and it's working. So, so I can, I can even type it. I can, so this date time picker is working fine. So the standards are provided by W3C and the browsers are working towards it. And one of the new feature in HTML5 is input type equal to date. 
Now let's see the next one. Now email, right click on this, open with Visual Studio Code, let's see this. Now I have added here input, input, type equal to email. Input, type equal to email. Now when I type input type equal to email, now if I open this in Google Chrome, now previously for validations in email, when I write email, so when I write invalid email, when I click on submit, see it's giving an error. So this input type equal to email is also added in HTML5. So, so if I enter invalid email, when I click on submit, it's giving error. Please include at the rate in the email address is missing at the rate. Now, so this input type email is also added in HTML5. Let's see the next one. Input type range. Now open with Google Chrome. And see here now, if I open this with Edge browser or if I open this with Chrome or Visual Studio Code, now see here, input type equal to range, value is equal to 20, that's a selected value, minimum zero, maximum 100, step 20. And now if you see here, so now if I go to the browser, if you see here, I have given here value equal to 20. That means it's selected 20%. And if I would, if I give here, because I give step 20, I can give here 40. So value 40. Now let's save it. Let's go back and refresh it. You can see it's selecting here. So range input type equal to range value 40 will be, will select it minimum zero, maximum hundred, step 20. Now if I give step 10, now if I give step 10, so if I refresh it, now you can see here, I can I can give step 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, like that. I can increase 10, 10, 10 steps. Now if I give this step as, let's take I'm giving step 20, if I save it, let's go back, if I refresh it, now see here, now I can 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I'm giving the step as 20, so that's how, so this input type range is introduced in HTML5. Let's see the next one. Now progress bar, so right click on this, open with Google Chrome, let's see what's progress bar. This is also similar to the range where you can see, now let's see the code for it. Now let's go back to HTML5 demos, right click on this, open with Visual Studio Code. Now see here, the tag itself is progress and I have given value 35, maximum 100. So that's why it is selected at, it is selected at 35. Now if I give here the value as 60, now you'll see the progress bar as, now if I save it, let's go back and refresh it, you can see here. So normally when you are installing some software, etc., you will see the progress. And using JavaScript, you can programmatically modify this. So maybe we learn how to make, how to animate this, or how to make this progress bar moving using JavaScript. So we'll see that in JavaScript tutorials, right? Okay, let's go back. Now progress is the tag. The tag itself is progress. It's not input type equal to progress and value and maximum. So this is also introduced in HTML5. Now, now let's see the next one. Now field validation required. Now right click on this, open with Visual Studio Code. Now if you see here, form, form is a container tag. We are not discussed it, maybe we'll see that later. Now input type equal to this, id equal to this, name, value, when I add required, this is a new attribute that's introduced in HTML5, when I add this required attribute, if I don't enter the value, it'll, it'll show me as it's a required field. Now, if I open with Google Chrome, and now if I don't enter anything here, and if I click on go, it'll show me, please fill out this field. So this, this validation before this HTML5 required attribute, we used to write JavaScript code to validate the field. But now you don't have to write any code. You just need to write required attribute and the browser will take make sure that you need to enter that field, right? So let's go to the next one. So just so far, what are the controls that we have seen? Input type equal to date, introduced in HTML5, input type email, HTML5, input type equal to range, and this is progress, the tag, and this is required attribute. And also we have one something called pattern validation introduced in HTML5. Now, now also we have added video tags introduced in HTML5. Now we'll not discuss all these things now, but now what we'll do is which browsers supports HTML5 to what extent? Let's see now. Now, W3C, we discussed that W3C has provided the standards. 
but is all the standards HTML5 standards is covered by all the browsers we don't know there is a website which will tell which browser supports to what extent of HTML5 standards provided by W3C now the website is html5test.com this is a website which will tell you your browser supports what extent of HTML5 now see here 473 out of 555 points that means almost like 90 percent is supported by my current Chrome browser if you see here input type is date email supported date is also supported input type month is supported yes so all these are introduced in HTML5 input type week time all these are supported by my browser but the same thing if I open this let me copy this and if I open this in Internet Explorer let's see to what extent it supports enter now if I open this in Internet Explorer browser I just want to see you see here now it's only supporting 312 out of 555 that means almost like 60 percent right it's not supporting HTML5 to a greater extent so now if you see here input type is date is not supported by HTML that's the reason why we are not seeing that we are seeing it as a text box when I open that input type date because this browser Microsoft has not implemented for this browser so input type month not implemented week not implemented so if you use these controls and if your if your customers are opening the website in Internet Explorer they will see as a text box and they don't see that's the reason why some of the companies are still hesitating to implement the new HTML5 controls because their customers might not be might be still using the old browsers I hope you understand now I repeat once again not all the browsers are 100% supporting HTML5 as of now. Browsers are still working on HTML5 controls. And if you implement using HTML, HTML5 controls, you need to make sure that your customers are using the latest browsers. So that's the reason why some of the websites will mention at the footer, the browser, the website is best supported in this. Now let's take, for example, if you see here, let me open a browser. Now I'll just open some bank, Indian bank, maybe SBI bank website. Now I'm just opening this SBI bank website. If you see at the bottom, normally they'll mention one note. The site best viewed at 1024 resolution and IE10 Mozilla and Google Chrome 50 plus versions. The reason why they mention this is because if, if your customers are using older versions, they may, they may not see some controls, right? The, uh, the browsers might not have implemented like input type date is not implemented by my HTML uh, this IE browser right so if someone asks you list down some of the HTML new HTML5 controls these are some of the new HTML5 controls input type email input type date input type month input type week input type time input type number input type range input type color so all these are introduced in HTML5 okay so now let's go back now let's try to understand, let's try to compare the browsers and see which browser supports the maximum extent of HTML5. Now let's say this. Now I will uh, compare to my Chrome browser. I'm trying to compare to, let me compare. This is my browser. Okay, let me do it once again. Yeah. So this is my Chrome browser, which I have, I want to compare it to, uh, this is my browser, Chrome browser. I want to compare it with um, Edge browser, Edge 18. Okay, great. Edge 18 is supporting more than Chrome browser. And let's take, uh, let's see, um, Firefox. Okay, Firefox. I'll select Chrome also, the latest one. Let's see if I can select Chrome latest browser, 68. It's supporting 528. That means I don't have the latest browser. So I might need to upgrade my Chrome browser. So Chrome latest one is supporting 528% out of 555 Edge Firefox and let's select Opera latest one. I'm just trying to compare which browser supports the maximum extent. Opera browser 5.18, great. Let's select Safari one, the last one. And let's see uh, which browser supports this one. So if you see here, the in the race of implementing HTML5 to the maximum extent, as of now, currently, Chrome is implementing 5.28 out of 555. And next we have Opera browser, next we have um, Firefox next we have edge browser and then we have Safari browser right so if you see here some of this um, uh, still implementing so you can see here all this IE is really lacking which is one Firefox so Firefox is also not implemented input type month 
see here now if I I don't have Firefox maybe you can check it whether input type month is supported in Firefox or not but when I give I'll just change it now input type month input type here I have input type date right I'll just modify this to month and let's save it let's see how it looks like in the browser so the first one I modified to input type month now open with Google Chrome see here now I can select month so this year I'm selecting March so March 2020 so this is also introduced this is introduced in HTML5 so what does it mean introduced in HTML5 means W3C has told to all the browsers that input type equal to month means you should provide an option to provide month and all the browsers implement that okay so now I hope you got some clear idea on what is HTML5 and what are the new controls introduced in HTML5 and which browsers are implement which browsers have already completed implementing HTML5 to the maximum extent right and also additional to that HTML5 is also added support for video and audio so previously if you want to play some videos we used to if you want to play some videos we used to install um, Adobe Flash uh, etc for for playing videos but now you don't need it now if I see here open with Google Chrome now I'm playing a small video here click on play so you can see here the video is getting played and I don't have I'm not installed any browser plugin for this I just stop it now let's see what is the code written for this let's go back to the folder and right click on this open with Visual Studio Code so if you see here I've just added video tag and with ID controls and I've written some code here and anyway not all formats not all video formats are supported by the browser only few formats can be supported by the browser otherwise browser size will increase to, to anything right so the basic formats W3C said like we need to support some of these video formats so that we don't have to depend on external softwares to play some videos right so video tag is also introduced in HTML5 and I'm not installed any flash player to install this video just this is in this is playing the video right okay so we just learned some of the new HTML5 controls in this module and we just compared which browser supports to great extent of HTML5 and I hope all of you got clear idea on what exactly is HTML5 and which browsers are leading the race okay and that's all for now thanks for watching see you in the next module